Like that project? Good job. We love it. Colorful. Listen, sometimes less is more when it comes to window coverings. Mary has some really good options in this house tour, so take a look. Good, I love that. Very this extreme. is a new build house that's recently gone on the market, and I was asked to come in and pay attention to the window coverings, but I also wanted to bring you in to pay attention to some of the other details in here. The millwork in this house is spectacular. If you think about it, this house has been staged with furniture that could be just like you have already at home, but it's the bones of this house. All of the millwork is really outstanding. From the wainscoting around the base of the room, the built-ins around the fireplace, and the crown molding as well. It all has weight and substance, and even though it's a new build, it looks like it's been here forever. I love the floor, the grounding with this not too dark a hardwood, but with beautiful darker details inlaid in it. Coming into the dining room, all that great millwork continues, and I wanted to show you the windows in here. If you want to go really traditionally, certainly you could layer up the windows, but a lot of people today are looking for a more clean aesthetic, and you can tell by the furnishings in here, that's really what it's being aimed towards. So on the windows, I didn't fuss it up. I simply did an accordia blind. These are beautiful cellular blinds with a linen texture, so they have interest. And by mounting them inside this really outstanding molding, they really are showcased. And in fact, it's plenty for this room. Gives you privacy and yet feels very finished. Really nice examples. Less is more. Yeah. So coming up after the break, Mary's going to give us a little lesson in your blinds, yes. right? Cellular, cellular options. blinds, yep. options. So stay with us. It's coming up. Good work. Here's Mary again with some more great window covering tips. Moving through to the back of the house, we're going to come into this beautiful kitchen, and I could be quite happy with a space like this. All of that great millwork has continued, so tons and tons of detail, still that dark, rich, deep floor. Something else that's continued is the wall color. Now, you may not have noticed because it is subtle, but it's a great trick to use. There is one color on the wall through the whole main floor, but each room has gotten decidedly darker, just that little bit that just makes it interesting. So you find a color you love, but you don't have to get tired of it. You can mix it up a little bit. Mixing it up, coming into the family room, I mixed it up on the windows because we want it to go simple, pared down, and yet it's function first. So you've got a window and then you've got garden doors or patio door. What do you do? You can mix the product, just keep the color the same. This is called Perceptions, and I love this because it functions like a vertical blind and yet it has that softness of a drapery. Also on the window, again from Level or the Accordia blind. Cellular blinds, this one is top down, bottom up, so I could be lying on the sofa watching City Line, still have all the daylight coming in, and the neighbors would never know. Yeah. Does that really finish off the space? But let's talk a little bit about the cellular, cellulars. Why can't I say it? Are they all the same? Are they different? Do they come in different varieties? There's, there's a real range. This is the new level or collection. It's called a accordia. So okay. The accordion. <laughs> um, I get it. And they, they come in different textures. You can get a sense here of the, of the different color range. Let's but also you can do them in sheer, in translucent, and solid so you can totally block the sun. Right. But you can do different sizes of cells as well. So if I'll get you to... Just tip that down a bit, and you can okay. see the idea that you can do uh, sort of the standard size, and then you can go a little bit larger, or you can do the double. So if you're trying to really up the R factor of your window coverings, the double cells have classically been, been the ones that do that. Okay. But this is brand new. If Stick your finger in there, Karen. Go sure. Ah! Woo! Karen, Karen Keeley, everyone, by the way, because you just snuck in here, sorry, all of a sudden. Uh, so what are you looking for, though, in terms of choosing? Like, are you looking for the amount of window space you need to fill? Um, some people think on a bigger window, a wider cell doesn't look as busy, mm -hmm. so that might be an option for you. Mm -hmm. This one is interesting, though, because this is a brand new um, addition. It's um, a patented idea where there's a clear film on the inside of the cells that you, allows you to still have a sheer blind, but really up the R factor. So it's really a cool new uh, product. I think it's called Energy Shield. So the whole idea is that you can 
put these on as the foundation on the window. And okay. that's how I always look at it. It's like the basics are there. And, I, and I'm a big fan of the cells, whether they're cordless or yeah. top down, bottom up. Because as you saw in that room, they can be enough. That's right. But as your taste change or your budget changes, you can then pile drapes over top and all mm -hmm. the rest of it. But these are just basic, classic, and beautiful and simple on a the nice window. A nice, calm, neutral. I think mm -hmm. they yeah. look gorgeous. Exactly. And I like that top up, oh, bottom yeah. down. Well, gives and the neutral time. is a great idea because then if you are changing out your drapes or painting the room, these are your foundation yeah. pieces you get to yeah. hang on to. Yeah, they'll last mm -hmm. forever. Absolutely. So we want to give a big thanks to Levelor right now because everyone in today's audience is going to get these fantastic curtain rods. Take a look, guys. You're going home with those. <laughs>